The investigation is on tonight for the group responsible for knocking over that popular rock formation at an Oregon State Park. Investigators say when they first saw the toppled rock last week, they thought that it fell over naturally. Well, then they saw the video of a group knocking it over, which is making its rounds on YouTube. As news specialist Ashley Moser reports, this isn't the first time this kind of vandalism has occurred. The short video clip shows the rock formation come crashing down. And what sounds like the words got him. got him. This is what Oregon State Police and Parks Department are reviewing tonight. What appears to be an apparent act of vandalism at a famous sandstone that until now had stood for generations. We don't have all of the facts with us yet. We've seen a video that the media turned up over the weekend and that really is all we know about it. A popular fenced off destination, the iconic pedestal of Cape Kawanda stood on a landscape more than 18 million years old, a picture perfect spot for newlyweds or to watch the sunset into the sea. The Parks Department thought the seven foot tall, 10 foot wide rock formation known as Duck Bill collapsed naturally. That is until David Callas posted this video. I actually confronted one of them, and the first thing that came out of the person's mouth that I talked to was it was a safety hazard. You know, one of their buddies apparently broke their leg on top of the rock. It's hardly the first time we've seen nature's beauty toppled. Wiggle it just a little bit. Two years ago, two Boy Scout leaders were given a probation and fined after they shoveled over a 170 million year old rock formation. <laughs> Actress Vanessa Hudgens paid $1,000 in restitution after posting a photo of her name carved into a red walk wall in Sedona, Arizona. In Oregon, it's unclear if anyone will face charges or a fine, a spectacular sandstone that stood the test of time but was toppled in seconds. Ashley Moser, KSL 5 News. Ashley, thank you. The U.S.